side of Big Brother. At this point in time, we have six housemates remaining in the house and only three weeks to go before the grand finale. But tonight, for the first time ever, we're putting two new housemates in. Yes, they are not intruders because they have no period of immunity from nomination. They can be nominated next Monday and they can, uh, they can nominate the other housemates. So absolutely no grace period. And that means, of course, they can still win. But before any of that, let's check the temperature of the Big Brother house by catching up on the last 24 hours of action. Jamie, who's that, mate? Are you a fan of tin spaghetti on toast for breakfast? Yeah, sounds good. After passing the cheerleading task, housemates finally have a sizable amount of money to spend in the weekly shop. David is the shopper chef, and the issue now is catering to the flurry of requests. Oh, wow, they're out there throwing ideas around for shopping, that's for sure. They're yeah. talking about um, tin spaghettis for breakfast. Oh. That sort of stuff. Okay. Oh my god, yuck. No, I won't eat that. Mm. Well, we've already got stuff for breakfast and we're getting cereal, so... Uh, I think it, against the cereal, I don't know. I hope that they compensate with apples and tea. Oh, yeah, they're definitely getting all that sort of okay. stuff. Because that's what I sort of said, if we weren't and all like being health and weight conscious, then it'd yeah. be a bigger issue. But because it, we're all being weight and health conscious, and so is Dave, and he's the one that's get, grabbing the food, I'm sure we'll come out fine. Yeah, but Dave says that. Tin spaghetti's really, really fat, Nick. Really, it? It's full of fat, it's full of carbs. Oh. Do, they, do they have, like, salamis and pepperonis and stuff? Um... The girls don't want tin spaghetti. Apparently tin spaghetti is really fatty and really full of carbs and they don't want it. So you don't want it or you do want tin it? Spaghetti. <laughs> I, I can tin spaghetti. I reckon tin spaghetti is great in the mornings. Yeah, same. This Everything. is Big Brother. Crystal to the diary room. Oh. Oh. Excited, Claire. The pizza shapes, yeah. Pizza shapes, I will not forget. Pizza or barbecue, whatever you find first. Everybody to the dining table, to the table, yeah. This week's shopping, shopping budget was set at $210. Breaches of the rules also affect housemates' shopping budget. <clears throat> for, every, for every fine, housemates lose $5 off their shopping money. As a result, Big Brother is reducing the shopping budget by $5. Housemate's shopping budget is now $205. Can I have a bottle of Chardonnay, please? Some green tea one. and um, some apples. Sam's has extra money. If you do have time and you see the super glue and yep. the um, sewing kit there, yep. do you reckon you can grab it? Crystal wants to alter some of her clothes as she can't fit into them, so she wants a sewing kit. Apples, tea, sewing quick, super glue, this and sugar. <laughs> yeah, you guys will be right. Just remember healthy and. Yeah. Healthy. You ready, Dave? What the hell? Bottle of wine. If you see any healthy, snacky stuff, just stuff to fill in between meals. This is Big Brother. The Big Brother shop is now open. Woo! No, you're gonna cheese the butter! Right. Um. Where's soy sauce? Sweet chilli. Over here. Sweet chilli. Oh, they changed it, Dave. It's all right. Only a little soy. It's alright. Alright, With two hundred and ten dollars, I'm not gonna be able to spend it all. Someone experience I went in. I agree. Yeah. This is Big Brother. You have one dollar remaining and ten seconds before the shop closes. <laughs> Sneakers. <laughs> yeah, Hear that? Dink. <laughs> Best shop ever. Yes. <laughs> Wow, that's massive! Oh. How exciting! Yeah. Apples. Apples! Pink ladies! Pink ladies! Two bags! Yay! Yeah. No yeah. Red and pink any ladies. Any tea, any tea? Cosmetics. Cosmetics. Green tea? Tea? Uh. Sugar? Tea? Salt, pepper? Chocolate milk! Yay! <laughs> you didn't get tea? No. Okay. The one thing that I desperately wanted. God, you guys got a lot of did chips you got and, stuff. and stuff. Did you? What did you get? Chips. This Damn. is Big Brother. The storeroom is now open. Maybe tea's yeah, part right of our rations. Right Far out. Yay. What did we get? Oh, apples. Damn it. 
you got wine and I didn't... What did I get? I Nothing. I'll share my wine with you. I don't you. want it. It's it empty calories. That's the thing. I wanted my friggin' tea. <laughs> Do you want a little apple? Apple. I'm sure he didn't do it on purpose. I know no. it's not fair, but... Sometimes I wonder. Well, food is a controversial issue in the house at the moment, but will the shock of two new housemates entering tonight make everyone lose their appetites altogether? I just feel claustrophobic and I just want to run away. That's all those two girls doing here is whinge. To evict David, SMS David to 199 evict. To save David, SMS David to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555567 and follow the prompts. To evict Crystal, SMS Crystal to 199 Evict. To save Crystal, SMS Crystal to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555562 and follow the prompts. John, come with me. What's wrong with apples? <laughs> Bruised. Ah. Oh. Did you guys have any chance to see the sewing kit or anything in there? No, no. I didn't see it. Crystal and Camilla aren't impressed with David and Darren's shop this morning. Tea, sugar and a sewing kit were forgotten. But at least they can try and do something about the bruised apples. Crystal, Camilla. Hi, big brother. Big, um, big, bro big brother, um, we bought these apples this morning from the shop and unfortunately um, a great number of them are bruised and a couple are actually rotting. Um, we were wondering if we might be able to return the apples and exchange them for the exact same product. Big brother will exchange them. Thank, Thank you. you. Shall I... the table. Beautiful. Thanks, big brother. Appreciate that. What I don't understand is Camilla's got the wine, which was $15. Yeah, yeah. individual. Who gets the chips and the biscuits that's and right. the, oh, the that's, cereals? That's, that's everyone, that's, isn't it? That's, yeah, that's for all you guys. Mm -hmm. And then the meat's So for, the wine's just hers. The meat's But then for... we share... The other stuff. Yeah, so yeah. And you guys all have $25 on me. So I, I, don't you know know why, I, mean? I don't know why they're whinging about it. Exactly. Wine is and if anything, I should be cracking up because I love wine, but I didn't get wine. Yeah, and you yeah. just spent $25 on meat. Uh, on meat yeah. And all I really wanted was peaches shapes, which is $4. And so the chips were $4. 25 bucks, bucks remember, is divided between. I oh, know, that's, that's what I'm sort of saying. Oh, that's what's annoying each. me, is there? Yeah, no. I agree with you. Then you should get all the, you should get all the chips and oh, no, no, all the pizza shapes. No, no, no. I don't care. Go for it. I'm just saying the wind thing. Mm. Is there anything else? No. That's fine. That is all. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Okay. Problem solved. <laughs> I thought that was all of us. He's going to exchange them for us. Yay. Yay. For bigger ones? <sighs> yeah, Camilla, so you know, you, you actually had the highest budget spent on you. I know, I can imagine. By about um, $12. Yeah. I'm going to share it. Why'd you have to make me aware of that? I, I think I kind of already knew that. Camilla's not eating cheese, not eating meat, um, the bacon, not eating the cereal, not eating the chips, not eating the shapes. I just felt, I felt quite pointed at about the, when you guys sat down. I have no problem with anything. I have absolutely no problem. The only thing I'm upset about is the tea. Because, like, like I said, we are not eating any. And I was chips. just saying, I was ju just saying, oh, you got lots of chips and stuff. I, I realised how that may have sounded afterwards, but I didn't mean it like that. Just to let you know, I didn't mean, oh, you got lots of stuff for everybody else. I didn't mean it like that. I meant, um, oh, you did get lots of stuff. Yay! If anything, the lowest budget was on me. I know, but again, I, as I said just a moment ago, you don't need to point that stuff out. We can already see that for ourselves, and, and the more you make like someone like myself feel guilty for saying I want a bottle of wine, the less pleasurable the whole exercise is. Yeah, that's exactly right, Camilla. It's not like I'm going to sit there and guzzle the whole thing on my own. Yeah, that's right, Camilla. Yep, that's right, Dave. It's funny how you're allowed to say whatever you want, but if anybody else does, you crack it and walk off. Can't please everyone, and I think you did a good even yeah, spread. Yeah, I agree. Everyone's missed out on stuff, and everyone's got stuff. You know, what, what does someone do when they, they don't have an argument to put back at you, or, or, or they're wrong? They walk off. 
That's the mature way to do it, of course. Right, what am I going to eat? They're on a diet, they don't want to eat. So why are they whinging about not getting food when they don't want to eat? I'm not even so, having that meat tonight, because it's full of fat. Is it? Lamb. Seriously, Crystal, you're tiny though, like, you've got nothing to worry about. You've got to understand that I was your, I was your size when I came in here. I'm not when size, I came in here, but before. I was like, your size eight. Eight to ten. I'm ten. If that, now I'm getting bigger. I'm like a size 12 now. Yeah, no, but the, the, put on a lot the of matter weight. of the fact is, I can't, like, I can't even fix the pants I have. No, no, get me same. Kit. That annoys me. It's frustrating. Don't stress. It'll be all right. I wish my brother would supply us with new clothes when we outgrow the ones we have. So don't stress. At the end of the day, we've all missed out, but we've all got something as well. I totally understand yeah. that, but the thing is, for Crystal, she's just feeling a little bit disenchanted because yeah. um, I'm she just feels upset like about just, I'm emotional today as it is. I just yeah. feeling a bit. I just wanted my friggin' sewing kit so I can fix my pants, and I don't know. I'm just annoyed. There's nothing for me to eat. All I got was apples for everyone to share. I don't know if you're not going to eat the chops now that you said they're full of fat. It's just one's crystal. And the thing is, my pants are not going to grow with me. They're already busted and I can't fix them because I don't have a sewing kit. No, no, no I'm, I was just So would you have wanted rice crackers out. and it would have been... No, it's not even that. It's just, I'm just I'm pissed off today and I just don't want to be here. Because if you think about what you're saying as well, you want to watch what you eat. It's so you... not... It's just, I don't know. Yeah, what I'm, what I'm saying, saying is just... stressing over nothing. Just take a deep breath. There's plenty of staples food there you can eat, like the veggies and stuff. Yeah, I know. It's just the creature comforts of being able to just Exactly, I can't go down to the shop and get what I want. Why is Crystal crying? Hey? Why is Crystal crying? To be honest, Dave, I don't really mind. And to save people having to whinge. Yeah. Because that's all those two girls doing here, is whinge. Feel claustrophobic and I just want to run away. You don't. Alright, Crystal. Yeah. Like, dude, Crystal and Camilla wanted a whole bag of apples. They got a whole bag of apples That's each. Two, two bags, yeah. I don't, I won't ever eat, I might have one apple. I don't eat apples, I hate apples. There you go, you hate apples. Jamie, I don't think, will have many apples. Like, we've got a capsicum for. That's just for the inspirations, the rest they can have. Yeah. They have all the cabbage, they can have all the lettuce, I don't give a <laughs> They can have the Mars bar, I don't care. They can have all the vino. No one's touching my beer, and that's all I give a about. Yeah. Like, Dave, we did Maybe well. that beer is for you and Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, no, no one touched my three beers. But yeah. we got marinade to make all the staples taste better. So, we forgot tea and sugar. Get the over it. Yes, that was beeping. He's very articulate. After 11 weeks in the house, it's clearly the little things that are starting to grate. Yes, there's tension in the air, and we haven't even put either of the two new housemates in yet. If you grate the cheese on it instead of slicing it, you'll get more. That's what I would do. So much bossiness for so little man. To evict Camilla, SMS Camilla to 199 evict. To save Camilla, SMS Camilla to 199 to save. Or call 1902 and follow the prompts. To evict Darren, SMS Darren to 199 evict. To save Darren, SMS Darren to 199 to save. Or call 1902 and follow the prompts. Boats cost 55 cents each. Mobiles higher. Boating lines close at 8pm Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 16th of July. Terms and conditions, bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. <laughs> Is that spins? No. No. You throw weird. The earliest shopping dramas are forgotten for now as Darren attempts to improve Crystal's sporting skills. Think about a spear. Straight arm. What's everyone up to? Not much. You sort of need it out there. Is 
they're on board. No, I'm just down and talks too much when you're not around. Maybe they shut him down at times. <laughs> they are the most nauseating crush on crystal. It's so annoying. It's driving you. It's just putrid, isn't it? Yeah, it's pissing me off. Yeah. Because once again... I just hope she doesn't buy into it, you know? I hope she doesn't. You'd be uh, good to play sports with because you'd just post, bust out of your top. Play netball? <laughs> That's the thing I can't do. Like, it hurts with me when I run and stuff, so I wouldn't be able to play many sports. Still? No, is this uncomfortable? Because your boobs are too big. Just because I'm not used to them yet. You've professed, obviously, wanting to get to know Crystal better. Mm. And Galen's gone for all of two minutes and... Yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> I, I, and, you know, it's within two because, inches of her. Um, I, I said, oh, you know, I teach you how to play volleyball. And I've been playing volleyball since I was a little, kid. and I've been playing all the way along. And I've been taught how to coach volleyball. And I'd like to teach her, but I can't go and do it without Darren coming. So I just let him do it instead. Oh! There you go. <laughs> that didn't hurt. <laughs> no, I stubbed my toe. Darren's teaching Crystal how to play sports again. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you're sorry. not very sporty at school. No, I never played sport. <laughs> Does it look like a horse? You're getting better at catching. <laughs> so your boobs keep up for you at your top. What are we going to do as far as lunch is concerned? Cheese and veggie on bread. Oh, actually, we could make Instead cheese and veggie butter. sandwiches and toast yeah. them. Crystal and Camilla probably won't want one. We'll sit. Would you like um, a piece of bread with Vegemite and some melted cheese? Is that what you guys feel like? Some... Well, we just thought of it because we don't have the butter. Cheesy bread. Yeah. Claire, I learned how to kick a ball. Yeah. I'll show you, Claire. Dave, Wait a Crystal and David. <laughs> yes. Would you like a piece of bread with Vegemite and melted cheese on it? Yes, yes. thank you. Can I have two pieces, please? But I don't know if there'll be enough because Camilla's having one uh, as well. Grate the cheese instead of slicing it and Pardon? you'll get more. If you grate the cheese on it instead of slicing it, you'll get more. Okay. That's what I would do. We'll see how we go. So do what you feel. So much bossiness for so little Ben. Thanks, I have extra Dan. Vegemite. So much bossiness for so little man. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, I'm not impressed with Darren actually at the moment. No, he's being a bit, a bit boss, eh? Okay. This is Big Brother. The housemates up for eviction this week are Camilla, Darren, and David. Here we go. Darren to the diary room. As winner of the Friday night games, Darren has three points to take off one housemate up for eviction. Last week, David used his points to save Darren. Darren, who do you choose to deduct three points from? Myself. <laughs> Here you go. Ugly as Gretel. Gretel. Dad. The housemates who face the public vote for eviction are Camilla, Darren, David, and Crystal. <laughs> oh God. Told ya. That is all. Oh, oh that's that's nice. Nice. Oh, I got hey, that. Hey, man. You all right? Yeah. Very, very what low. Happen Sammy saw this, what happened with mine? Yeah. It must have been a task. Claire is never going to go home. A very exotic lunch. Claire <laughs> will never go home. Ma'am, you get to see... Um, basically, you get to see how, you, how you're going. In comparison with everyone else. So I guess it's good. Well, I reckon I'll go. Here you go. I know I will. What, just because of the intruder thing? You've my, had a lot of time, and this will be my theory. Just my theory about intruders. Mm, I'll stop it. Leave it wrong. Cheers. Hmm? Cheers. No, I'm not. I'm not all down in that. There's nothing no. wrong with it. No, I'm realistic. Cheers. Cheers. No surprises tonight. I knew I'd be up. I didn't think you'd be. I've got a good feeling I might go home this weekend. I said it to Claire yesterday. She goes, but you don't even know if you're up. And I said, Claire, I know these things. I'm going to be up. I don't really care, to be honest. I'm not even going to make a fuss this week.
Well, looks like the housemates might have a bit of competition in the popularity stakes when the new housemates arrive. But before we meet tonight's new housemates, stay tuned for MC Jamie and the Nursery Rhyme Marathon. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, a little lamb. I'm just going to live it up this week. Crystal and Camilla have been on the outer today with David and Darren, while Claire and Jamie have moved between the two groups. But it's funny how you think to how other people think. What you do, like, obviously, like, I know in my head that I, I do things to piss certain people of you off. Mm. But, you know, it's just funny to think, oh, what have I d done to blah, 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 or blah, blah, yeah. blah, or blah, blah, blah. For okay. sure, man. Sometimes I just feel like... I love Claire, but she doesn't understand me. She's never even had a bad day in this house. When I have four people up, it's more than half. What's it like not to be up when nearly everyone else is? I'm blown away. I was adamant that I'd be up. Yeah. I don't know why. Because you're a <laughs> Touché. They must be having a good conversation. Ken. I must admit that the last few weeks I've been like gone closer with you and Claire's been with David and I just mm, I feel like he's sort of I feel like he's torn her away from me a bit. But that's her choice too, it's not like takes to the tango. But yeah, the funny thing is like I've only really I've really gotten to know Jamie and properly these past couple of weeks because I thought from the first night that I came in here we talked him. Like, uh, he's, he's the person I remember talking to and I thought, oh, we're going to get along so well, me and Jamie. You know, if I were to go home this weekend, that's my biggest regret sort of thing. Not getting to know him. Yeah. I'm the one that had your baby's ass. This is Big Brother. Housemates, you've all been repeatedly warned about singing commercial music in the house. Jenny, to the punishment room. <gasps> what is it? It's a new punishment. <laughs> 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 so nerve wracking. Jamie. Big brother. It appears you like the sound of your own singing voice. Yeah. It fills the silence sometimes. You're about to fill a big <laughs> bit of silence. With the tune. Mary had a little lamb. I'm excited. It's like we're going to watch a movie or something. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Mary had a little lamb. Is it? Mary, Mary had a little Mary lamb. Mary it's had a little lamb. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb, lamb was sure to go. Mary, Mary had a little lamb. lamb. Sure Mary Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. snow. Oh, my God. Mary oh. had a little lamb. Little lamb. No. <laughs> everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went, everywhere that Mary went, Lamb was sure yeah. to go. Really <sighs> Mary had a little lamb. Do a jazz style one. What's that? A jazz style, Mary had a little lamb, then a rock style. Okay, go. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. This is Big Brother. Jamie, <laughs> you stopped singing. That's an extra half an hour in the punishment room. <laughs> Better song. Bang. Oh my God. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. <laughs> Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go.
Well, the house may be harmonious at the moment, but I think the entrance of our two new housemates may create some discord. I'm best known as Mr. Saturday Night. Saturday Night's my dancing night. No one takes that away from me. That's my night. One word that describes me perfectly would be arrogant. My dream. That's easy, to be a rock star. We've only got three weeks to go until the grand finale. After 11 weeks, only six housemates remain. Each of them has their eye snugly on the prize, but little do they realise that tonight, two new housemates will be entering the house with no immunity. But they do have the right to nominate, be nominated and win Big Brother 2006. So who are these new housemates? It's time to get to know our very own Italian stallion, Max. My hero is Sylvester Stallone, Rocky Balboa. How good is he? He's the man. He's the Italian stallion. I'm best known as Mr. Saturday Night. I love it. The way I pick up my girls, get on the dance floor, create that circle, do a little John Travolta thing going. My family's a very big part of my life. It's huge. We work together, we sleep together. Not sleep together, 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 but we... <laughs> Friday night, we get, we get together, we go to a Chinese or Italian restaurant. It's all about food. It's a classic Italian family. The only time when I'll cry is if I see my mum upset. Because I'm a little mother's boy. I love my mummy. <laughs> One word to describe me would be flirting. I love to flirt. I love women. My world record would definitely be 15 seconds to pick up a girl. I was on my way to the bar and um, saw this beautiful, attractive girl. That was it, that, that was my world record. Like, my worst quality is that I scratch my private parts a lot. I can't help it. If I was any better looking than this, I would be dangerous. I would need security. I can't this believe what you're huge. wearing. <laughs> what do you mean it's you huge? You meant to see like me six... in the back there. I didn't even say hello to you before I came out here. I didn't see you. I thought you were going to be dressed as a pirate. This is ridiculous. I look like a Yeah, goob. half a pirate. <laughs> you do. Now, the reason you're dressed as a pirate is because you're going... Well, you're not dressed. Where's the rest of your outfit? I've got no idea. You were too vain to wear this it, weren't huge. you? This is huge. They said they want to put something on my head. Nothing's touching this hair. <laughs> Can I just say that you are going into the house as a pirate tonight because the task in the house is everybody's a pirate and we've got this special plan where you're being swapped with someone else and you have to be noticed. Not noticed, actually, because you'll be dressed like everybody else. So that hair has got to go. And I can't really see how you spend a lot of time on it, to be honest. <laughs> to my face. To your face, you better than behind your back. <laughs> now, you've been in lockdown. Uh, when did you find out you were going into the house? Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon? I was... You got so, the phone call at work? Yeah. You work with the family? Yep. So you just screamed? Scr no, I didn't scream, I just sprinted. There was coffees, everything going. I, milk was boiling, couldn't <laughs> And I just went straight to the gym, got my brother, and I go, you got to take over, what's going on? And... And then you went straight into lockdown? Straight into lockdown. So you've been in lockdown I, and you were there with your brother and he just cooked a feast with you, I've just been I've chatting with him. I put on five kilos in two days. Really? He oh, passed the alio olio all the way, breakfast, lunch and dinner. I'm not even... This is pathetic. I'm Lucky just... the pants are baggy, isn't it? Now, you don't even know what happened in the soccer because you've been locked away and you don't know what happened to Italy I'm in the soccer. I'm very stirred. I've asked every person who I've met through this whole Channel 10 and no-one's told me. I know. 
I'm very stirred. Are you going to tell me now? Yeah. Five bucks. No, here we are. Okay, you ready? This is it. You have no idea. You're a huge Swear soccer fan. God. You've been locked away. You love Italy. You don't know what happened. I've got to do it this exactly right. Are you ready? Yeah. Who's that? that? No, that's the France last goal penalty. Penalty On one of their goes. Okay, it's Wait, three months of video. Watch, this is the last one from Italy. And that's, this is the game? Is that the game? We won! Yeah! <laughs> oh, how good is that? All right. Now, the details, I'll give them to you when you come back out of the house. Oh. No one in the house knows because nobody in the house can know anything about oh. outside the door. It was just neck and neck, neck and neck, and they went extra time, oh. and then they had penalties, and then France only got four of them, and then Italy got the fifth one, and blah! Okay. So now you can go into the house resting easy, except for the fact that there's only three weeks left, and they're possibly all going to hate you. That's good, I don't mind. You okay. don't care nah. if they hate you? No, yeah, I can't know. Have right. you got a plan? To vote all the guys off and... Have all the girls to myself. Okay. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm only joking. I can't handle all three. Are you joking? Can't handle all three. Who's your favourite girl in the house then? Nah. They're not no, your no, cup no, of no, tea. No, 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 they are. They're all very nice ladies. I, I'm not commenting. Okay. They're why not, are you going nice into the house? Uh, we've got to stir up something. We've got to make it more exciting. We've got to do something. So you're just going in there to have yeah, a bit yeah, of fun. Yeah, it's all right. I don't mind getting evicted out of the, in a couple of weeks. I'll be right. I Doesn't heard matter. a rumor you like Crystal. She's very nice. You might have to join the queue there, I think. For who? Who's in front of me? I think Jamie likes Crystal. No offence to anybody at all concerned in relationships with Jamie or, or Jamie. Galen, but they say... But Galen's not in the house anymore. Really? Thanks for telling me. Uh, OK. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, of course. How nervous are you? I thought I would have been a lot more nervous, but I'm good. Yeah, but that's because you haven't got the complete pirate outfit on. Uh, By then, you're going to look like a goose, and I wish and you the... well. Yeah. You'll be all right. You ready? Get up. Get up. Happening. In you go. All right. You're up, Max. Do you want to say goodbye? What do I think? <laughs> You'll be great. Right. <laughs> Another very shy and reserved person. God, I didn't explain the soccer very well to him, did I? But anyway, what can you do? There's a lot of pressure here, a lot of pressure on him. I hope he's a star in there. I think he probably will be. But Max doesn't know that another new housemate will be entering this evening. And as Max travels to the house in the golf chariot, I can tell you the method in which he will be entering the Big Brother house. Very soon, the housemates will be called to perform part of their pirate task. OK, that's this week's task. And shortly after this, Darren will be called to the diary room so that when Max, dressed identically to Darren, enters the house and joins the task, the housemates will simply believe that Darren has rejoined them. So I'm wondering if they'll even notice the difference because all our housemates currently seem a little focused on themselves. But now it's time to get to know our second new housemate for the evening and his name is Chris. My dream. That's easy, to be a rock star. When people first meet me, I think they see me as very arrogant, very confident, very self-assured. And although that may not actually be how I am, it's very much the view I try and give off to people. I definitely have a reputation for being a bit of a, a player with the girls, but I don't agree with that at all. I think when I'm actually with a girl, I treat her like an absolute queen. It's only when we're about to break up or broken up that I really don't care. I am the best kisser in Australia. Damn straight, easily. There's a little trick that I do that I'll keep secret for now, but you may find out about soon. The worst habit I have would be my vanity. It takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to get ready, even for the smallest of engagements. It's not something I can change. I mean, it takes time to look like this, all right? If I didn't like somebody in the house, I'd more than probably spread some rumours about them that weren't true, just tell a couple of little lies about them to the other housemates, just to wind them up, get their back up a little bit. If I can cheat and get away with it to win, then yes, I would cheat.
Thank you. Okay, obviously the first question is, what is this secret kiss thing that you've got going? Ah, uh, you know, it's a technique that only a few people are born with. And uh, yeah, well, I was, you I was lucky enough to be one of them. Well, you have to tell us what it is, or you're not allowed into I'm the house. I'm not allowed. Oh, I'm not in the house. That's quite serious. Would you like me to show you? Well, not personally, no? right. but just... Uh, well, I can't. Why? Look, if you want me to show you, I'll show you. <laughs> I want you to show me. I don't want to experience it. Go. <laughs> Do it. It's a trade secret, everyone. Okay, yep. no one yes, tell. Yes. Go. It just involves this. That's all I can say, OK? The piercing in your tongue. The piercing, yeah. Well, I hate to say this, but half the housemates have piercings in their tongue. I know, yes, but that matches with my technique, you know. So what happens if you kiss someone who's got a piercing in their tongue, they get all tangled up, and then you're near live electrical wires and you die? Well, hopefully I chose someone that I like to be connected with. Whoa, <laughs> a true romantic. OK, now, are you nervous about going into the house? Um, I wouldn't say nervous. Um, there's a few people that I really want to meet and a few people that I'm who? a few about. Who do you want to meet? I want to meet Camilla. I think she's awesome. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And who don't you want to meet as though um, you have a choice? Jamie and Darren, probably. They don't interest you? No, not really, yeah. Are you more of a girl's boy than a boy's boy? I'm very much a boy's boy, but I love the girls as well. So okay, yeah. how do you reckon you'll get on with Dave and Darren? Um, I know, I like Dave. Sorry, it said Jamie. Jamie and Darren. Yeah, yeah Jamie you didn't really um, like. Why not? Oh, you know, I'll get along with them good. It's just... It's just... I, th I find Jamie... Is very, very self-involved. Whenever I turn it on, he seems to be talking about himself. And yeah, but you're the guy who takes an hour to get ready before he even goes to Yeah, that's right. Milk. I have my time, and then I go out and I spend it with everyone else. Oh, OK. So yours <laughs> is private time. You do yeah, realise yeah. there's no private time in that house? No, I know, yeah. All right, now, how do you feel? There's only three weeks maximum. Do you think you could win the game? You know, I'd like to hope I think I can. And, you know, I'm going to go in there and be like a bomb exploded and just hope for the best, you know? Really? Yeah. So you're just going to explode? Yeah. OK. <laughs> well, that sounds like a tactic. I wish you all the very best. Thank you. And remember, you can nominate. I can. And yeah. be nominated. Mm -hmm. So good luck. But you've at least got a week in there, haven't you? At least, yeah. All right. You ready to go into the house? I am. Let's do it. Now, do you have to be dressed as a pirate? You I do, yeah. Know. I get to dress up as a pirate, You yeah. have to dress as a pirate. Fabulous. That's a good thing. Don't mess your hair up. <laughs> all right. Good luck. Ready? Yes. In we go. All right. Thanks, you. See you later. Have fun. Now, I don't know if I have to whisper because Chris only knows that he is going in. He doesn't know that Max is going in. But as Chris travels, Max has already arrived at the house. They're clearly two very confident boys. And Max is ready to do his switcheroo with Darren. So let's cross now to see if the house is at all expecting a surprise visitor tonight. When I was about 10 or 11... And then a girl? This young girl, I think that she might have had problems with something and then... She... Oh, again. You know. Jamie! Quick! Jamie! Jamie! Jamie. Bell, mm. go! Four. Quick! I've got to yell at everyone. Yeah. I'm trying to yell at everyone. Just chuck your clothes on over the top of the other clothes. And do your head stuff and stuff when you run. You run out there. <laughs> as tonight we watch two new housemates enter the house and become legitimate competitors for the Big Brother prize. Mrs Hook is what they call me. The housemates have been given a pirate task and are waiting for further instructions from Big Brother. Little do the housemates know that in a moment we are sending in a new housemate. And won't that rock the boat? Let's cross back to the house now to watch the ripples and waves he causes. How do they die? They did... water. They don't need watering, do they? They need water. No, it needs to, need, the water needs to be above where they're... It needs to be topped up. They need to be filled up right to the top. This oh. is Big Brother. <laughs> Pirate Darren to the diary room to receive captain's orders. Oh. All oh. other shipmates remain on the deck. Oh. Oh. Yeah, maybe he's getting orders <laughs> off me. <laughs> Whoops. The bed fell off. No, that was mine. It, oh. it, it attached to my Murph somehow. So next time the bell goes, me and Jamie will go up here, you two on the wheel, and you and Darren, you go that side, and Darren go that side. Uh, yeah, yeah. I haven't been that side yet, Claire. Claire okay, so I haven't been that side yet.
Make your way to the boat. Give that to him. Good luck. Right, thank you. He does look different. It's a different person. What the? What the f hey, Captain, Captain Dora, Captain Dora's. Oh my God! Oh. The f Guess what? I'm right here. Come on, Captain Dora! Who are you? Oh, okay. I was here all along. Oh What's my on? God! What's going on? Read it, Chris. Come on, let's go. Okay. Yeah, come on. your name, you are to reply, I, I, a proud pirate voice. Are you ready, Buccaneers? <laughs> pirate Jamie. Aye, aye, Captain. Pirate David. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> pirate Camilla, that's me. Aye, <laughs> aye, Captain. Pirate Crystal. Aye, aye, Captain. Pirate Darren. It's Max, darling. Oh my you got God. it wrong. It's <gasps> Max. I'm the housemate. No one told you? Wow. <laughs> okay, sorry, we're just. Oh, how nice is this, this is an introduction? Oh my god! Come up here! Where's Darren? What's going on? I'm just telling my friend Darren for the It was like a tea drink. I'm thinking there's going to be a fucking huge ship. Nothing. Look at this. What's going on? Good, there you go. Okay, I feel like I'm sorry, I feel really rude. <laughs> oh, right, oh, are we allowed to get off the spot, Darren? Is it Darren? Darren. Darren. I remember you. What? Oh, 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 Hello. Yeah. This is weird. Sydney. He's from Sydney. Oh, right. oh my God! Oh, you remember? Oh, the New South Welshman. They're making a comeback. Go, Where Darren. are you, Pamela? Darren. Yeah. Max. There you go, Max. Come here. Max. How are you? But here you go. Good. Oh All right, guys. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're just going to leave the ship. <laughs> Let's go. What are we doing? <laughs> Not like the ship. Oh, we're the ship. To. Yeah. We're going to be fully dressed. So we. Where's Where's Where? Where are you going to We've got to get back up on it. Oh, don't worry, we'll just keep going. What are we doing? <laughs> okay, well, we're just standing here waiting. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 you can't do this to me. We have to stay in our position <laughs> and stay as our captain. Well, aye, aye, Captain. What are we doing? And you can't climb the ladder. Yeah, you can do the hot mermaid. Guess what chore you get? Janitor. Good work. Really? That's all. Janitor. Oh my god. So, <laughs> so you're like a new house. So you're, you're fully here? You're uh, fully here. Like you're moving in, hey? I'm the house I'm the new housemate. Yeah. Sick. Nuts. What? This is crazy. You learn a lot about the housemates by how they welcome the newcomers. Mm, interesting. And they always want to judge a newcomer by what they're wearing. Which is a bit of a bummer this evening, isn't it? Okay, now our first new housemate is in. He is now an official new housemate who can nominate and nominate and be nominated. But four of his fellow housemates have already been nominated this week. And one of them must go on Sunday night. To evict Camilla, SMS Camilla to 199 evict. To save Camilla, SMS Camilla to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555563 and follow the prompts. To evict Darren, SMS Darren to 199 evict. To save Darren, SMS Darren to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555579 and follow the prompts. To evict David, SMS David to 199 evict. To save David, SMS David to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555567 and follow the prompts. To evict Crystal, SMS Crystal to 199 evict. To save Crystal, SMS Crystal to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555562 and follow the prompts. So Max is in the house and Chris is in the revenge room, preparing for the entrance that he'll be making when he enters the house on Rove tonight. So you can catch all the fallout on Up Late and head to 3 Mobile or the website for live streaming of the house action anytime night or day. So stay tuned for Rove. I'm Gretel Colleen and this is Big Brother, where the Big Brother 2006 finish line is in sight, but the game is far from over.
growing up, the Wedge's wives are desperate they're plastic. Hey ladies, we'll just fill her up. Oh, no, no, no. I need a little bit of this. The Wedge. <laughs> Tim's new comedy, The Wedge, starts now. Dream World, the home of Big Brother.